Yes, yes, welcome back to another episode. I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services. Welcome to Electrician TV. In tonight's episode, we do a nice bit of fault finding, which I find, find might find interesting. And also we do some wireless switching for a carpool, which has got three wireless switches and two fobs. But right, let's get into it. Nate or Tardy? Nate, I reckon rough. Oh, not too bad, not too awful. That circuit is. You can tell what does what. Tuesday morning, me and Ollie are just at this house. Whacking great house. Uh, we just, this isn't the problem, but we'll show you anyway. We're gonna have to use my screwdriver and flick that out. Yeah. That is still working. Go on, put the plug top tester in it. Uh, that is horrendous, isn't it? Pull it out. Yeah. Working. And it's also the utility down there, but what we presume is that socket there isn't working. It looks like it's above a drain. Is that a drain or is that just a bit of thing? Do you want to try that socket? Oh, that's working. Look, you see the light. Yeah. The cable does come from that height. Yeah, I think that's probably just a bit of ducting. Yeah. Um, right, what we can do, check, we'll check around here as well. It's always best to have a quick look before you uh, break it all down. Is there any other sockets or anything? What's in that little cupboard up? Got a gas meter in it. That's off. That's off. That's going to be the same circuit, but that's going to be well protected, isn't it? Yes. So, should we try that first? <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. Bit of a nightmare because we've only got one. one uh, one door we can get in. People haven't moved in yet. Got enough outside sockets, doesn't that? Yeah. Well, what, what more do you want for five and a half grand a month for that? <laughs> so what Ollie's doing there is just split. So we're splitting the ring here. We've looked outside. What we thought that black socket is actually in the plug top, Ollie, isn't it? Yeah. Which is unplugged. So now it does the utility and it also does this conservatory. So what we've done is we've split it where it looks the roughest. And um, that is what we presume is the closest to the utility. That's the kitchen, the utility. So we're going to put, put either leg away because we've checked to see, make sure it's a ring at the board, aren't we? Yeah. Well, well, so the ring at the board, we've crudely just done it with a continuity tester, haven't we? So now we're literally going to dob them in and see which holds on and what's done, and then narrow it down. Yeah. You agree? I agree. We'll split the ring. Ollie's just literally doing this. So do it again, mate, so we can see what you're doing. So now we're just making sure that there's no continuity anymore since we've split the ring. Making sure there's not a ring within a ring or anything like that. Nothing. So now we should be able to turn, try and turn that on. Yeah. Um, now we'll go see what everything that's on. Yeah. And then we'll see, hopefully. Yeah. So that's okay. So if you do all these, obviously then ones underneath you've got the spurs. Yeah, that underneath there as well. It's kind of what we the result we wanted because we've actually got the kitchen in between here. So yeah, just check this room. Was there any of this? I think there is the one pocket for me. Yeah, so you presume that one that other white one's probably back to back with that, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go down to the conservatory. Uh, there's a bedroom upstairs, we'll quickly go to check them in. Right, so all is on that one, and that's where we got it live to. And then obviously I've gone to the, the, the most obvious one, which would be the next one, and we've tapped it out to here, and then we're still getting ringing on this one. So, and then we've got one, one more that's next to the fuse board. I'm actually hoping it's that leg because this this one's gonna be a nightmare. But if you look there, they look like they've someone's had a problem here already, aren't they? Yeah. Definitely, aren't they? Because that's even from a different that's even from a different direction. And there's not even there's not one out here. There's not one outside. That's all the uh, lights outside which we've got, we've already had them on. So it's either gonna be from that one to there. Or that one to the board, we're hoping it's that one back to the board because then it's an easy repair for someone. So obviously being using it safely, the live cables in the, the, the uh, Wago, 
what we've done is we narrowed it down from that socket to that socket, disconnected the light because it's the MCV tripping, not the RCD. We knew it'd be a live issue. And that's where it is, Ollie. Yeah. And it, how long does that take us? Half an hour. Yeah. There's, you know, by all means, like you can, you can uh, drop the circuit down, do the insulation resistance and all that, but because it's been in service and it's not banging out, you might as well use your power to be in it, in the place to be. Uh, so Shall I drop them right now? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick tour of this fuse board whilst we're waiting for the uh, maintenance guy to come back, but yeah. But, so they're all RCBOs there. You'd have thought a house is sort of size that they would have done all RCBOs, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right? There's no surge protection there's, or anything. There's the one RCBO. No, they're all RCBOs. Look, if oh, you look there, then they're the newer versions. Yeah. Oh, they're I just haven't a, seen them once. Yeah, you'd have thought they, yeah. there's no surge protection. We're saying that we're saying there's no surge protection. We don't actually know where the meter is, so it might even be there by there, but. Yeah, it's pretty pretty neat, isn't it? I can't show you the cover because it's got the other company's name on it and it's not really fair, is it? Just yeah. don't know the full ins and outs, do you? So basically, you can see that twin nerve goes all the way around there. And clipped out the side, dirty bastard. So I wonder if this shelf or that's dropped, that's caused it. So it's all the way around there. We'd, uh, we'd only do it in armour, though. Big old pond, still frozen though. Looks well deep. If you could show your support, like, subscribe, and flip Will's bean. Up the blues. You know, <laughs> nice one, cheers, <laughs> Right, second job. What we've got to do is we're putting two of them lights up there with adaptable box with a receiver. We've got the duct in from there all the way to there. Then we're putting an outside spur to spur it down. It needs another wireless receiver. We've actually got three switches and two car car fobs, which I'll show you when we're there. I'm just hoping we're just going to go through that. That has fobs in it, which means that right there. They've got the old arm Anderson uh, car charger. I think they've gone under them people now, but I think they're still being honoured by the people who make them. But yeah, we're just winding it up there. We've got some battens to bring it down so the front of the lights will be level with the bottom because the guy has trailers. And the reason we're going for the wireless key switch is because uh, we are in the middle of nowhere and it would be forever going off with sensors. So let's crack on. We've got those tornadoes. Those, let's crack on. Yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll fold it over and then go back. No, look. Yeah, look, the no look, the no look tape. Are you gonna record me or what? That the no look. <laughs> that going nowhere, is it? No. Yeah. Well, it's coming that way. So the way I cut it. Yeah, I think that blade should sit on there, shouldn't it? Just give it a try that way. It's really safer that way, isn't it? It's, it's probably, but I, I just don't like it because where I'm not the tallest person, I've got to lean over and I've got to lean over and I can't really see. Line. That's fair enough. Do it whichever yeah. way you, you feel safe, mate. I just like that. So that's how we're doing it. We're getting them up there. Got them cut, got them. They're tight enough, but we're obviously screwing them up, aren't we, Ollie? Yeah. We're just, uh, we're just obviously making sure we're putting the right the screws. I know it's a bit anal, but I don't know if you can tell from this, but my mate, our mate Darren, who builds this, he's a bit of a perfectionist, isn't he? Yeah. So I might as well do it properly. We're only doing it properly. Sorted. That's how we're doing it. We're only using one five because it's only one five cable. Well, it's been cutting down the bolts as well, so get them in there. But that's turned out perfect, Tolly. That one, isn't it? Yeah. 
Bowl well, Lake we have to go to. You know, just uh, uh, for what about a metre of cable? Yeah. He's just sorting out the lasers because we've marked them up there, haven't we? To get them all nice and sorted. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty good, Ollie, isn't it? Yeah. That'd do. Looks perfect, guys. Right, do you want to start making that end off and I'll start prepping the next light, yeah? Oh. Yeah, so look, Ollie lines it up with the centre there. Centre there, and we do a quick pencil mark where we've got to drill the base. We're not worried about drilling the bases, are we, Ollie? No. Yeah, we've put that extra bit of there, which is a dummy one, just to hold it up. So a quick update, so we've got all the cables in and all that, that's all nice and sorted. Done the best of what we can there, haven't we, Ollie? Yeah. So basically we've got the wireless receiver stuck in there in the middle. We put these pads in there just to keep the cables out. Right, well, sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't, but since as we got the receiver, we thought it'd probably be a good idea just to run them through. So that's a surprise, that's gonna go into the end. The earth's always gonna go to the end, and then the uh that one's going to go in with that light and then we're going to run a uh, the switch line and neutral to that one aren't we Ollie so this one will go into there that one will go into that because we've got double connections in the light and then we'll run a switch line and neutral to there then we leave it hanging until we power it up and then we can press it then we've got the fobs Ollie's just clipping it along along there and then down there then we've got to do that bit it's going all right isn't it yeah, so yeah, that's all you can see to, outside. Uh, Sorry, man. I did it with the level until I got down to these ones, uh, and then now I've just matched up the so I it up, Yeah, yeah, it looks right. We just have to colour in the uh, screw heads, yeah. Yeah. Looking all right, guys. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I regret not bringing conjure for that bit there, but it is what it is. Stunning place, though, man. I tell you, what Ollie's doing there is we're literally just fitting that. We're back to back with a socket we've drilled in there, and that's how we're doing it. Ollie, you don't have to banjo it there because it's already I'm been done there. at that light fitting. Because actually, there's only two bits of armour, doesn't it? So we've done one at each light. Yeah. So it's all sorted. Oh, I'd do it the other way. me how well that works isn't it yeah <laughs> one of the f i was working with uh ian um earlier this year yeah and i showed him it and within like five minutes he was like oh oh i could do with one of those yeah he loved it he loves it didn't he yeah right, so these are the uh the switches so we've got three normal paddle switches and two fob keys as well and one's going by the back door one's going by the front door one's going in here and the two key rings are for the two cars. So it pretty much covers it all. Love it. Smallest I've got is a three, yeah? Yeah. No, do. Sorted. Nice one, a Hager board, but it's got all Wilex guts in it. Look at it. So turn that back on, Ollie, yeah? Yeah, it's really strange. I don't know why they would have done it. So that is it all sorted. The only problem is, is uh, I didn't know, but I've just been on there to good advice is that they actually do a professional range and all and then car fobs don't work 
only work on the uh, calf on the pro range so we've got to order uh, another couple of uh, well enough to change that receiver nice and bright though Ollie didn't it yeah they do a pro receiver which the car fobs only work on the pro receiver thanks for watching and don't forget if you're gonna be anything then be electric up the old village you know imagine not being an electrician Bush.